Hey everyone, I'm back. It's been a while since my last video, but I'm excited to start posting again. Thanks for sticking around. Today, let's do a quick one. Unboxing and reviewing the 70 My A510 dash cam. Let's dive right in. Here's the box of the 70 My A510. It's sleek and compact with all the key features highlighted on its sides. Inside the box, we have the first pack containing two sets of electrostatic stickers for front and rear cameras, user guide, and manuals. and a pair of double-sided tape. Then we have the rear camera going a full 360 degree rotation. This is the main front camera unit, which features a 2-inch LCD display. The front camera features a Sony Starvis 2 sensor, capable of recording at 2592 by 1944 resolution, which is a step up from full HD, while the rear camera records in 1080p. And then we have the cable that connects the rear camera to the main unit. car charger, which has a dual USB type A port. A mounting bracket for the main unit. Prying tool to help you tuck in the cables during installation. and the USB Type-C to Type-A cable to connect the front camera to the car charger. The package I bought online didn't come with a memory card, so I purchased one separately. Unfortunately, this memory card doesn't work with the 70 May A510, this dash cam is quite picky with memory cards, so it's best to buy it bundled with a compatible memory card to save yourself the hassle and money. Make sure to choose one labeled as Endurance or High Endurance, like this SP High Endurance SD card that worked with my A510. Here are some footages from the a510. As you can see, the video quality is excellent during daytime, with good color and detail, though it does exhibit a bit of fisheye distortion. Most of that, however, is towards the top of the image, which is far less important than what's straight ahead and to the sides. The A510 front camera also handled low-light conditions very well, 
headlight flare is minimal and detail is still visible. My rear camera footage might not fully reflect the true quality of the A510 due to the medium tint on my rear windshield, but it's good enough for me and still captures important details. The rear camera's captures, on the other hand, do drop off a bit at night. Again, my rear windshield tint may be a factor on its quality but not as badly as other cameras out there. But detail is lacking compared to day captures. I purchased the A510 without the hardwire kit because my main purpose is to record videos during trips. This model works just fine when plugged into the 12 volt socket of your vehicle. However, the full range of parking monitoring features only works with cameras that are hardwired in. The A510 is easy to install and set up with the box containing everything you need to get started. So I won't be discussing details about installation on this video. There are a bunch of how-to videos around if you need one. For my final verdict and recommendation, the A510 delivers decent videos both day and night for the front camera. Although for the rear camera, an upgraded 1440p rear lens would be nice than what they have right now. It is also very picky when it comes to memory card installed. So buy one that comes with a memory card, so you don't end up buying cards that don't work with it and waste money. So should you buy one? 70 Mai has a reputation of producing good performing, quality built, nice looking, easy to use dash cams. And the A510 is no exception. So you may put it on your short list. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews. See you in the next video.